Oh, I did it! I did it! I did it! Whale, hello there. Hey, what's going on? My name is Dee. Welcome back to the Whale channel. And I know why you click this. It's because you want to eat pretzels, I want to eat pretzels. And we want to eat Disney Park pretzels together. So let's put the two of them together. We are going to be making the jalapeno cheese pretzels. I think they have about six different names around the park. They are so delicious, uh, surprisingly easy to make. I made these last weekend. So let's just not start doing dallying and let's get right into this because you have stuff to do, I have stuff to do. And that stuff is eating pretzels. Okay, so the recipe we're going to be using today is the Chrissy Teigen one from her Cravings book. It is the nicest pretzel recipe I have found. It's in her second cookbook. I love these books. If you want to treat yourself to something, either one if you don't have them. But this recipe is so unbelievably easy. So I just have all the ingredients set out here. Not too much that you need kind of at all. We have 250 mils here of whole fat milk. This is two and a half teaspoons, two and a half teaspoons of yeast, which is normally the equivalent of a, of a little packet of yeast. We're then gonna grab this in here is three tablespoons of soft brown sugar and one tablespoon of granulated sugar. That's the exact same. Just gonna sprinkle in right in on top of the yeast. And then we're just gonna mix it quickly together. In the Chrissy Teigen recipe, it says to do this with the machine, with like a, a KitchenAid or food processor to combine that. I just find it it's easier to do a whisk because you can just get it in very quickly. So once that's all yummy and delicious together, we're gonna throw in 435 grams of plain flour. We're then also going to put in two teaspoons of kosher, kosher, kosher salt. I normally just end up using the nice flaky salt because that's my favorite type. Um, and just make sure you put the flour in first because if you mix salt in right on top of yeast, it stunts the yeast, which obviously we do not want. And then here I have six tablespoons of butter, which is about 85 grams for us who use grams. I'm gonna put this into my mixer and mix it up until it becomes a nice yummy dough. Okay, so I just stopped the dough there to check on it. I think it's kind of done. It normally only needs about three to five minutes and um, it's gonna come out kind of sticky. But if it's sticky, it's gonna be nice and flat. I'm gonna sprinkle a bit more flour on this, I think. And then we are going to let him go to sleep for about two hours. Go for a little nap. So I'm just going to oil our bowl because I'm not cleaning another one. If I don't have to. We're gonna take our lovely little pretzel dough, pop him in his hole, his little bed. We just literally are gonna cover it. Oh my God, seriously? The very last bit of cling film that I own. Please fit. Ooh! It did, we're good. <laughs> I can't believe it. All right, and that's just gonna chill for two hours somewhere warm. And then we can do the good fun bit, which is stuffing. Stuffing our pretzels. So I'll see you in two hours, all right? Let's go. And just like that, three hours is Yes. Now we're gonna get on to the very fun stuff, the rolling, the stuffing, and the pretzeling. But first, let's talk about the cheese. Let's talk about what, what the plan is, all right? So this is gonna be our plan for the cheese. We're gonna do a bit of an experiment. I have some, this is spicy cheese. It is just a cheddar with red chili in it. This is white cheddar. We have fresh jalapenos and pickled jalapenos. We're gonna do a combination of the pick with the chili and the cheese and some just cheese and some with both types of chili and the cheese and yeah it'll make sense it'll make sense i'm actually gonna have to figure out how to record this so that you can see the food 
Yeah, I suppose I can be not vain and you can look at the countertop instead of me, I suppose. But let's get down into the fun stuff. So here is our really nice looking dough. Plumped up about double the size. And now we are just gonna cut it into um, kind of serving. So the original Chrissy Teigen recipe said to slice it into eight. When I did this last time, eight was loads and they were super chunky. So let's, let's cut them into half and then we'll see. I might end up, if I do these into four, that's just gonna be eight again, isn't it? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna have really big pretzels again. Cause I suppose if you're gonna have a pretzel and do this, you're gonna want it big and delicious and fulfilling. That one's gonna get a bit more. So I'm just gonna roll these up. There's them in a bit of flour and then keep them to the side until we are gonna shape them. Okay. It's time for the roly poly. This is our first sacrifice. Um, and I think we should do white cheddar and pickled jalapeno because I think that will work out the best. So let's try that first, let's go. So what I found the easiest thing to do is just roll, keep rolling it in this kind of very fun motion, make it into a big long snake, a little slippery snake. You don't want it too long because then you'll have too much of a twist to do. Uh, so let's say that and then we're obviously going to need to make our little place to put our cheese in so i just get my rolling pin and kind of roll it out very quickly kind of thin this is okay this cheese is a lot harder than the other one and what i did last time is i just kind of crumbled it up but i might actually have to cut these yeah i think this will work out better Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of my pickled jalapenos. I'm just give them a quick, easy, chippy choppy. And we're just gonna sprinkle it in along with it. We're gonna say that's our stuffed pretzel filled. And then I know you're gonna wonder, how are we gonna do it now, Dee? Uh, we're just gonna join up the two sides. Very Neanderthal, but like, it works. It's gonna look weird, it's gonna look kinda knobbly. This may also explode. I have a feeling this one's going to um, pop its cherry. I'm just gonna grab another bit of dough and just see if I can repair them. We're gonna shape. <laughs> How I do it is I just, oh, that's gross. Twist it here, twist it again, and back out. I should've done that and then done all the repairing. Oh, that makes sense. And that is our first nobly pretzel ready. So I'm just gonna pop them in a pan until they're all done and then we'll do the bath and everything else. It's delish. So all the pretzels are pretzeled as I'm running it. We now have to do it, put it in a bicarbonate soda bath or a soda bath or whatever you call it. Um, I'm just gonna use the same thing purely because I'm lazy. Never underestimate, underestimate my laziness. So now we just have to get 750 mils of hot water. I just boiled the kettle and just before it boiled, I took it off. So maybe do 500 mils of that and then, yeah, I shouldn't put enough water that it's actually going to like injure myself. Okay, so we're basically, ooh, this is our 50 grams of baking soda and it's gonna go straight in the um, not boiling water. Am I certain it's not boiling? Oh no, not at all. And basically we're gonna dip each pretzel in for about 10 seconds and then take them out and then we'll put them in the oven. First baby pretzel. She's just gonna sit in there for a little bit, about 10 seconds. I think what this does is it gives it a shell on the outside so you get that nice, oh geez, that nice pretzel sensation. I'm probably gonna end up doing the other four off camera but I just wanted to show you this is where you're gonna put your little finishes on it. 
I wish I had more of my pickled jalapenos left, but I use them all for inside because I really love pickled jalapenos. So my earlier plan of doing two of each kind of, that didn't pan out. Most of them are chili cheese and the jalapenos or the white cheese and the pickled jalapenos. But I'm just gonna sprinkle a nice generous helping of flaky sea salt on top because I love the flaky sea salt. And then when they're all ready to go into their new home, they're gonna go into an oven that is 200 degrees Celsius. They're going in, we'll say now. You'll see them in the oven like right now. Alexa, set a timer for 16 minutes. I didn't mention that. Wow, they look so good. It's not, mm, it's not like Disneyland. So we're gonna let those cool. I think then they'll kind of seize up a bit more, kind of like cookies. So I'll be able to just pop them off the back of the parchment paper. Brain. So this is how they came out. Ignore that one. <laughs> that one kind of exploded. That was the first one we did that I probably did a bit too thin. So if you're gonna make them, get them a bit chunkier. And then these are the other batch, which came out much better. You can tell that was my that was me starting, and this was me finishing. Look how perfect that one looks. Really ugly one that exploded to see how that got on for taste test. Mm. Alright, I did it. Everyone can go home now. Oh my god. So that is my pretzels. They only took me pretty much all day because I went, <laughs> but I did go out shopping for food halfway through during the rise. Uh, if you try them out, please let us know. Tag us on Instagram. We are at, at whale underscore pod underscore. Uh, we're the exact same on Twitter. Give us a follow if you want to hang out. Why not subscribe? Give us a like if you enjoy the video. If you want us to make more videos like this. I'm super excited. Aoife's going to want about 80 of these next time she comes over. Fingers crossed we get out of lockdown soon. It's killing me. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Keep safe and we will see you on the other side. I'm gonna take my line and drop down to my basement. Mm.